Hi, I'm Austin. And I'm Dan. And we're here to play games. Uncontrollably. Yeah. Welcome back to Salt and Sanctuary. Uh, last time we explored the mire of stench and got to what was it, the far side? Far Beach. Far Beach. Um, yeah. Which was awesome. But we're back at the mire of stench because there's plenty that we forgot to get here. So, or neglected yeah. might be the better word for it. Yeah, so we kind of blasted through and went straight to the boss, which is fine. Uh, but there's a few other things we can get here. Ow. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. That's a good start. <laughs> yep. That yeah, wasn't bad, and neither of us fell the hell off, so you know. <laughs> Give it about five minutes. Uh huh. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we're gonna grab a few things here. Um. We've done the whole all of Greg's thing, but there's a few other things we can do. Um. <clears throat> ah. What can we do, Dan? So, we can go down here. There's some idiots in here that we can kill. Alright. Alright, go down here. There's more of them that show up down here, and they will absolutely devastate you, us with uh, those thrown items if we don't kill them very quickly. So, uh, we get everything out? Yeah, there's nothing else in here. Uh oh. Oops. What? Yeah, that's okay. What? Ow. Ow. Mm. Did we get that? Okay. Looks like it. Oh. Eh. Go ahead and get my poison here. Pardon me for a moment. Projectiles! Ah, oh, bugs! Delightful. Yeah, these are flying spiders, which is just, uh, you know, great. Got a flying spider tusk, though, you know. Yep. It's always good. Eh. All right. So let's go up in here. There's a stone leader, I think. Did we go up here last time? I don't remember. I don't okay. know that I can get up there. Yeah, not at the moment. Oh. Uh, I don't think. Yeah. Uh, looks However. Like, looks like we got some items up here before, so I think we have been in this area. Okay. Huh. I'm remembering some of what is necessary to get everything here. Okay. All right. So let's go over here. Um, I think we dealt with some of this stuff. Go down here. I don't know if we got everything down here or not. Just double check it. Some of this we are going to have to come back to get. Uh, but yeah, we'll do a bit of a treasure roundup at some point here. Okay. All right, do we get anything over here? Let's see. It's just... Yeah. And I'm pretty sure we went up on this side of things. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. You know, I think we're in pretty good shape here, actually. Um, <laughs> I missed it. All right. Oh, of course. He's falling off. There you go. Hey, one Reminding. of the ears we needed, finally. Yeah, yeah. So these are the guys you have to kill uh, to get the final rank of Splendor. Uh, that may be what I was thinking of that we needed to do, is just kill a bunch of them. Um, so we can do a quick farming just to see if we can get any of it. Let me equip. Item drop ring. And we'll just kill these guys a couple of times. Alright. And see if we can rank up this creed. Um, after that, uh, you know, if we decide we're going to do it or not going to do it, we'll just uh, pop over to Franz Pass. Because we got something we can do there, too. There's two. There's two, yep. Yep. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> so useful. It's, if it wasn't such a cheese. Oh, there's three. There we go. Wow. Done and done. All right, uh, then. Oops. Oh. There we go. Easy enough. Let me tell yep. you something, viewers. Last time we vote, we went working for stuff like that, it did not go that fast. <laughs> no, it did not. Yeah, there's a few of them. Let's see. We need a leader. We can go to Sunken Keep here. Uh, yeah, there's at least one enemy that you have to farm for Splendor that is a hassle. Oh, we already had a Lepos here. Okay, that's fine. Sweet. Here we go. Just got the devoted achievement. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, this is pretty much the same, but... Is there a blacksmith here? Yeah. So check a blacksmith next time we... Uh, we're at one. We can always look at the Castle of Storms one. Let's go over there. Convert it to we're going to go to... Yeah. Yeah. So now that we have full devotion to Splendor... And we've converted this one as well. Yep. We'll go here. There is a pretty solid arm armor set called the Resplendent Armor. Oh. It's class 3 heavy armor. It's pretty good. It has no poison defense, obviously, but uh, it's a solid armor set. I believe this used to be class 4 in classic, uh, but now it's, it's class 3. Um... Pretty hefty, Other than that, pretty hefty armor, though. Yeah, there is also the Axe of Splendor, so you can just go super, like, I am wearing gold if you want to. Um, it's pretty cool armor. Yeah, yeah, this is like, huh, you got gold to spend? I got I got something for you, bud. You can, yeah, exactly. And with Golden Wine, you end up with kind of a crazy amount of gold, so, you know, yeah. worth it, probably. Um, if you really want to get a lot of gold, you can equip the symbol of affluence as well. That will give you more gold um, for every kill. Nice. So, yeah. Um, I don't think there's anything else at rank 5. I think primarily, or I'm sorry, rank 7. Uh, I think the primary reward you get is um, the armor set. Nice. All right. Uh, let's go over this way. On to Kron's Passage. Oh, hey. Yep. Austin doing the jumps correctly, me not. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Yep. There we go. That is very interesting. Okay. okay, now we got a boss coming up here, so go ahead and buff up however you need, and we're gonna fight a guy. Alright. Let's fight a guy. Ronan Cran. Ronan Cran. We're in his pass. Just waiting for the. I don't know what he's doing here. He he buffs himself. If you fought Knight Artorius in Dark Souls, that's what he's doing. Oh, okay. Oh. He's a very Artorius adjacent, one might say. Oh, rude. Yeah. Oh, thought we had him. Almost. Right now we thing. do. No, no, not quite. There. Good one. All right. Yeah. Solid. So that's um, yeah, technically an optional boss there, uh, but pretty worth killing. Um, okay. Okay. The weapon you can make from his ashes, the Batsuichi, um, uh, oh god, what, what is the second word of that? Hmm. Ruin the temple. Hey. Bachuichi something. I'll we'll find it, it later. Anyway, yeah, it's it's a cool uh, weapon, and it used to be a slow hitter, and it's not anymore. Oh. Huh. Okay, so the Ruined Temple, 
is an interesting place. We're not gonna fully go through this, but we are gonna unlock a bit of it because we have to go back in order to get a lot of the stuff that we need to get here. I think we can get up here. I don't think we can deal with... Oh, careful. Every time. Can we get up to that? And then... Yeah. There we go. Nice job. Reach Pike. Ow. Get off of me. Ah. What? You've been facing me the wrong way? Rude? Alright. Alright, we're gonna grab this. I'm gonna open this. Um, I'm gonna... Should we get we the can other mess one with you? Yeah, feel free. Yeah. Alright, so... Let's see. We don't really have a coherent plan for messing with this place right now, so... Maybe we can start backtracking. Oh. oh. <laughs> Little sideways yeah. dudes. So this is when stuff is going to really start coming together. Uh, the Ruined Temple is an interesting place. Uh, I quite like it, uh, just as far as like what it is in the lore and things like that. But uh, Kran's Pass is actually a way of getting to the Ruined Temple a little bit early. But there is still some stuff we need to get. And in particular, there is one remaining brand that we need. Uh, in order to fully explore this place. Gotcha. So that's my only real hesitation here. But Is Ruin Temple uh, a bit of a end game area? No, but it's getting it's closing in on end game, I would say. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to get over that right now, so let's head back down. <laughs> what we can do, and what I usually do when I come in here, is we can Head to the bottom and grab the sanctuary, and then we can leave. Okay. Um, and then what we're going to do, we're going to be back here pretty quick. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, let's go through this uh, this little guy down here. Just a little, little guy. Yeah. He literally yanked his arm off and threw it at us. Yep. He armed himself. He's, uh, Exactly. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Hang on. No. Yeah, that's one of the problems with coming here so early. Come with me. <laughs> <laughs> Come with me if you want to leave. Exactly. Yeah, mm. this this won't be a problem when we come back here. So. Um... Fun fact, there is a bit of a... Uh-oh. There is a bit of a speedrun type of trick that used to be possible. Hey, hold still. There we go. You want to tell me what to do? I'll move all I want. I mean, okay. <laughs> That's up to you. Um, anyway, there was a speedrun trick. Uh, it's basically a long jump, and it's impossible in the current patch of the game. They patched it. Uh, you know what? Let's go. <laughs> um, so the long jump basically is something you can do by either... Or, I'm sorry, you press the jump and the roll button at the same time. And what happens is you jump and roll simultaneously. So you go freaking rocketing across mm. gigantic distances. Um, huh. And if you can do it well, uh, which I'm... I've never got as good at it as some speedrunners did. But if you do it well, you can just go absolutely crazy with it. Alright, so let's head to the far beach. Um, yeah, if you want to level up here first, we can do oh, that. Oh, I wasn't even thinking about leveling. I just <laughs> wanted to restore my yep. health. Yep, yep, yep. I got two. Let's get up here. Wow. I have a lot of pearls. I didn't spend these last time. No. Hold on a second. <laughs> um, but yeah, Ronan Kran's sword is actually the um, hilt and basically the, the bottom part of the blade. Um, I'm, I'm forgetting the freaking term for that, but um, that's basically what his sword is. Uh, it's what you can make. Huh. So, he's a pretty cool 
uh, character, in my opinion. He's interesting. I don't know what I meant to do. Don't have much of a plan. I'm just kind of going this way just to do it at this point. All right. Um, but yeah, his sword is basically the remains of what used to be a really... Uh, a resplendent greatsword, if you will. So do you, you just get the broken version of his resplendent greatsword? Correct. Can you get the non-broken version? You cannot. Oh. His sword, when you make it, is actually an axe as well. Oh, okay. So... Yeah. Um, so the far beach, I think. Yeah. Did we go down here before? I don't remember. I don't think so. I think we just got to the sanctuary and then had to call it. Okay. Let's pick this up. Silver leaf. Yeah. We can't do anything there. The ziggurat um, okay. of dust. Yeah. The ziggurat of dust is our current objective. That's where we're heading next. Um, there is a ladder here. It really isn't going to be able to... Uh, it's not going to be of much use to us at this point, and it's kind of a long ladder, so we're going to come back to it. Okay. Um, but we will be back to that ladder. That's that's an important ladder. Um, and it's a good ladder, too. Mm. So now we're going to go up here, and we got we finished the Coast Rock quest uh, there when we first got here. And oh, that's right. She's building that raft. Ah. Good luck. Mm -hmm. I like the starry background. Yeah, this area is really cool. Yes, if I remember right. I should have. Yeah. So, I should have made decisions better. Oh well. All right, careful. There are some enemies that spawn down here. Oh, they look like little humanity dudes. Yeah, these these guys will get a throw on you, and they'll just stab you a million times. So. All right. Uh, but yeah, we should be able to go through that. If I don't freaking knock you off the ledge. <laughs> it's all good. Only one of us has got to make it. Yep. Here we are. Okay. We've made it to the Ziggurat of Dust. Sanctuary. All right, let's see here. What we got? We got... We want to... need a guide. Uh, cleric and mage, I guess? Sure, why not? We don't really need the leader anymore, right? Uh, yeah, the leader does give assault gain bonus, but hold on to that one. I got a plan for that one. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna grab a level here. <laughs> Need to buy more of these Stats. guys. I like stats. Stats are good. Stats are good. Uh, yeah, I got the gold. I can do that. What I'm using... This has strength scaling. The iron pot has strength scaling. I don't need dex scaling. What are you doing? I don't need this. I'm gonna delete that one. I don't need this nonsense. Um, yeah, that's fine for now. Okay. <sighs> All right. So first thing, um, go over this. Anybody one. who hasn't played uh -huh. this, um, might not realize that underneath our level are these like bar graph looking things. Oh yeah. And so like, if you can see, mine has a long orange one, and Dan's is very kind of like balanced and it has to do with our stats it's just like yep. a small view of the stat window i thought that was interesting thought somebody else might mm -hmm. find it interesting as well yeah i kept forgetting to kind of bring it up but yeah the the orange stats strength and endurance are represented by the orange bar dex and willpower by the green and then the purple is magic and wisdom right so it's roughly um you know how much of because strength and endurance are kind of along the same lines as far as stats go uh, and then dex and willpower. Willpower controls your stamina and stuff like that. Ooh, these leeches. Yeah. 
can't get through. No, can't get up there, unfortunately. Oh wow, he died a lot faster than I thought he was going to. He got wrecked. He did. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do, uh, those Ooh. of you that know this game know what I'm doing here. So we're gonna go over here. It's a pyramid. It is indeed. It's a, I don't think it's we a can... ziggurat, yeah. I guess, technically. Uh, technically speaking, yes. Technically speaking. Anglerfish. Oh no. It's, okay, it is dark and spoopy in here. It is. Fortunately, you have light. Okay, yeah. Open this. Grab the Blood Brow armor set, which is a class 4 light armor, which is oh, pretty cool. good. Wow, you are remember. just destroying everything. Yeah, it's kind of wrecking. Okay, so this is another entrance to the Ruined Temple. <laughs> wow. Because <laughs> everything goes to the Ruined Temple, apparently. Um, so, yeah, we are going to double back here. Come uh -oh. ah, Thanks. <laughs> You're stuck. You can't get back. Uh, but, yeah. Um, that will all come together, I promise. We, uh, we will be going through the Ruined Temple for too long here. Um... First thing we need to do is uh, the top half of the Ziggurat of Dust. Gotcha. Um, in order to deal with the Ruined Temple, really. Can we get it? No, we can't get up there. Alright, so... Just to let you know, um, this would become obvious... If we, actually, you know what? We'll, we'll do that later. Let's let's deal with the Ziggurat. Okay. We'll, we'll want to get that item, but we'll get it at some point here. Um... We gon' get it. Okay. I'll use some healing here. Took some fire damage. Some fire damage? Uh-huh. Some fire! I'm a little sad that Locked I can't get those items fire. that are up there. Yep. Go up here. Oh. <laughs> Don't fall with me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> me neither. Uh, okay. Got another one of these guys here. Alright. Easy enough. Alright. So, let's go over here. We're going to... Definitely need some better jumps to get up to some of these areas. Exactly. We're starting to feel the need to be able to jump a little bit better. Cool. Leech. Yep. Not to be confused Weird. with a lich, I suppose. Yeah. Exactly. Nice. But not down. Oh, well, look at there. Would you look at that? Handy dandy. Mm-hmm. I get to the other side, though. Ooh. Exactly. That's always a little trippy cool. when that happens. Exactly. Eh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Forgive me for autopiloting this. I know this this area quite well. Well, it doesn't help right. or hurt that you uh. Decided to play this game on your own with two other characters. Shh. Ah. <laughs> Quiet, you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Am I uh, ruining the the illusion? You're embarrassing me. No. Uh. No. I, yeah. I mean, it's true. I I played. I hadn't played an enhanced edition myself yet, and um. Uh. And some other reason for doing it. Oh, right. To play it without gigantic amounts of lag. <laughs> Which, actually, we are doing a lot better. I was about to say, you, right you seem to be struggling less this time around, so I guess we've, the adjustments yeah. we've made are helping. Not on quite as much of a struggle bus now. Ah, I got pretty far for being out of sight on my mind there. Yep. Yeah. 
So we're going to do the same thing again, but this time not drop off and get those items. No. But yeah, yeah, I mean, my memory of this is pretty fresh now. Um, although I have beaten this game, I don't know, like 30 times or so. I don't know. I've beaten it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably an exaggeration, Th but not by This a is lot. why you're the tour guide and I'm just following along to beat stuff up. You're the muscle. Oh, I am so glad I attacked that. Holy cow. Uh huh. That's a Mimku. That's uh, that's some Dark Souls m muscle memory happening right there. Exactly. All right. Boss time. So, let's go up to this boss. Am I still glowing? I'm not still glowing. I need a charge. Here we go. All right. The, the Dried, Dried King. King. Well, he looks fun. Yep. Now, he's not actually weak to fire because he tends to throw it, but, you know, a little extra damage. Ooh. Oh. That's not good. He tried his best. Alright. Oh, I can't do that. Oh. Yeah, there I go. Oh, that's funny. So he has my salt because he technically killed me. Yep. But we're past that point, so. You got this, I believe in you. Oh, wow, oh, that no. fire incinerated me real fast. Yeah. I was doing really good there for a second. Then he staggered me out. I need to get that, that shield we were talking about. Yeah, yeah, so the, um, the Iron Rampart uh, is the shield he's talking about. It is a, it used to be a class four, now it's a class five shield, and it's very strong. Okay, so. Uh, actually, no, let's go this way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got the shortcut Perfect. open. Yeah, that's good. Yep. Now we can get up to him without much trouble. That's good. Good, good, good. All right. Okay. Refresh my golden wine here. Let's wreck him. Listen, man, if you're dry, get some water. You dehydrated? Ooh. Exactly. Hydration is important. Give me back my salt, fool. Oh, we got the salt back. That's right. We assaulted him. We did. Ooh. Yes, look at me. I'm I'm boom panky or something. <laughs> Alright, cool. Easy enough. Yeah, very good, very good. Let's go up here. Oh, first try. I mean uh First time it works every time. That's, that's right. Hey, it's our All brand right. friend. You gonna teach me how to jump good? Talk to that guy. Hmm. Oh? So you killed him. You killed the king? Quite a relief. Oh, okay, then yes, absolutely I did. But is this a dream? This cigarette we're in. Well, it reminds me of the great tomb built by the son king of Kukas. Kukas is where I studied until the mission. The mission. We were to sail to the west 
For marriage lines, I think. No, that's wrong. We were to sail east to live in. We were to make peace with the Citadel of Fire and Sky. Ukas, sitting king, had announced an alliance with Ascaria, and with it, allegiance to their new gods. The climate for sorcerer collectives would surely sour. So we sailed. But there was a storm at sea. I was washed ashore. I don't think any of my fellow sorcerers survived. Similar stories there. Mm -hmm. When I found this cigarette, I thought I'd gone mad. But I'm no stranger to dark magic. Imagine a demon that feeds off the ruins of nations. A demon that collects. Would he happen to be in the shape of a scarecrow? <laughs> Such a powerful being could dwell on this island. Or perhaps this island is the demon. Well, that's a horrifying thought. And it feeds, claiming men, women, kings, countries. I want you to explore my theory, and I have just the thing to help you do it. I have something for you. It might burn a bit, but aren't all good things found in flame? Interesting. Alright, final brand. The dart brand, my favorite brand in the game. If you find the ruined temple, you'll know my theory is true. Well... <laughs> what about you? Do you agree? I agree with him. I do. Of course, this island is a graveyard of civilizations. That's what it feels like, yes. Find the ruined temple. We'll get to the bottom of this. Okay. Alright, so... Whoops. Okay, so we can head out this way now. And we can see what the dart brand does. Okay, what do you... Ah, it's, it's the, the roll right, button, okay. Yeah, yeah, the roll button in midair allows you to dart. And you can do it twice in a row if you want, which is pretty cool. Oh, oh hey, friend. This guy. You've used the gift I gave you to explore, conquer, and vanquish. I'm pleased to have been able to make an impact on your journey. Moonlight has always been my friend. Now I call you friend as well. Aw, oh, sweet. I like their armor set. May Moonlight shroud yeah. you in this life. The Stella set is really cool. Alright, cool. Well, good talk. Alright, so we're gonna go down here. Get some get my drink on. And the bag of earth is something that um a guy we met much earlier in the game near the Banquet of Smiles and the Watching Woods uh, is looking for. So we'll be able to give that to him, and we can get a reward depending on how we answer his questions afterwards. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, so see, now we can get up here, and there's this whole thing Oops. that we went through before. This will take us down to the far beach. You're so fast. Yeah. I'll catch up eventually. Light armor, yeah. Yep, so this, this is back to the far beach. Uh, this is just for the sake of kind of connecting the world up. So we do have the Bag of Earth for our buddy, um, and we'll probably go over our options there in the next episode. Sure. Go back out. Go off here. Oh. Uh, yeah. You're so fast, come back! I'm used to just flying. Why you want to leave game. me? Hey, buddy. Bye. Dart brand is gonna make you use the start the menu button a bunch of times. Yeah, <laughs> you'll never catch me. I mean, if you want to get off the screen, that's fine. I'm gonna take my time. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's back in. Oh, you so. got stuck at the door. Jump over that. Good thing I wasn't going for the door. Ha 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 ha. Okay. This is pretty high up. I'm so high. We've... King of the world! Alright, anyway. Yeah, so we're scaling over the ziggurat. Why are we doing this? I don't know. I do it every time. Um, I'm assuming you want to get to that other spot we couldn't get to a second ago. Yes. We could have just walked through the ziggurat, but I didn't feel like it. But that's too easy. Yeah, so if you'll notice, if you get on the wall and you go off, you can dart again. I did see that. So you that. can essentially wall jump and ascend, which is pretty cool. Get out of here. Oh, the horse guy is back. Yep. Not for long. Ow. 
Ow. <laughs> we got this. Ooh. Proceeds to get thrashed. <laughs> oh, of course, he did the stupid kick. I hate that kick. Oh. All right. Don't mind me. Oh, well, you got him. Oh. <laughs> Now, you'll recognize this and be very careful walking into here. This is the Dome of the Forgotten. Oh. Right? So, if we exit this way, that would have taken us to the Ziggurat early. Um, I liked it to go the other way, uh, okay. just to get everything. But that's how a lot of this stuff ends up connecting, which is pretty interesting, interesting in my opinion. Yep. Alright, cool. Definitely. So now we can make our way back to the Ziggurat because essentially that's what we're going to want to do next is the bottom half of the Ziggurat. The Ziggurat of Dust has two bosses. Uh, we've killed the first uh, and then the second one we have to descend to the bottom of the Ziggurat. Um, technically we could go mess with the Ruined Temple now, but we might as well just get the Ziggurat completed. Right. And uh, I'm guessing we may have to pick that what, that up a bit next time. Yeah, absolutely. We are definitely at time for today. Now with these guys, no. or ladies or whatever they are, um, we can exactly. All right. Ground locket. That sounds like that would be handy to have. That's an upgrade material. All right, level up. Level up, indeed. Seventy. Get one more level here. Okay, grab a few more things here, but yeah, uh, I'm glad we finally got the dart brand this time. Uh, really, really good for progression and just generally doing things. Um, you know, I am a big fan of it. Hippity hoppity. Yeah, the double hop is nice too. Yep. All right. I quite like it. Well, we are certainly at time for today. So uh, thank you so much for being here with us today. We hope you've been enjoying it. I know we haven't cackled as much as we usually do. I think we got a little focused on the uh, task before us. But, the task in hand, yeah, indeed. But since you know you were watching, you were our luck charm, and we were able to get those leper seals ears, eels, ears. What? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what leper eel is, but the ears that we needed, we got those. Say what? Now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and maybe a couple bosses or a boss. Um, yeah. So, yeah, well, we'd be running crime as well. Oh, yeah, that's true, that's true. So we cleared out some some stuff, and we will continue on to explore the rest of Ziggurat next time. Uh, and if you haven't been enjoying what you've been watching and enjoying our playthrough, please uh, do all the algorithm stuff. Like, subscribe, uh, uh, share with a friend. Please comment. Let us know what you're thinking, whether you... What your favorite boss is, or if you've even played before, or if you have questions about the world and the lore behind it. I know we have talked about the lore of this world a whole, whole lot, and we have referenced uh, another person in a previous video whose name yeah. I cannot remember for the life of me at the moment, but if you check out our full playlist, it is one of those videos. The link to his entire series is right there, but he does a full playthrough lore conversation. It's, it's quite a good set of videos, and I highly recommend it. Um, yeah, yeah, agreed. It's uh, Cyberfiles, it. uh, Salt and Sanctuary lore enhanced walkthrough. Yes, from the depths. Right. Um, and Cyberfile has done other things with Salt and Sanctuary as well. Uh, I believe there's like a guide that's been put together. So there's a lot of good resources out there if you're interested in getting into this game. Yeah, the it's a uh, very very cool game. Yeah, I think the walkthrough comes directly from his like basically lore encyclopedia he created. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So. Um, yeah, so definitely check that out. 
And uh, check out all our other stuff, too, please. We would love your uh, attention just a little bit. You know, so we've got previous games that we've played if you want something that's a complete series. So, you know, Skies of Arcadia, Xenogears. We've got uh, Unpacking and Coffee Talk and Little Kitty Big City for our tea time stuff. You know, we've got Legends of the Wind Waker and even more. And, and we all, of course, we have our ongoing series as well with Persona 3 Reload, Meek in the Witch's Mountain. We've got Liza P, of course, this game, Salt and Sanctuary. So lots and lots and lots of stuff to, to look through and to have fun with and to enjoy. And, you know, it only makes our hearts full and happy when you are having a good time with our stuff. So um, outside of that, Thank you so much for letting us be a part of your day, and we are happy to be a part of it for, with you, and we hope it is a wonderful day. We will see you all in the next video. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye now. Doodly doodly do 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 do. Thanks for watching.